We have an update now on a murder-suicide in East Columbus Tuesday night that left three dead, including a baby girl. Police have identified the two victims as 20-year-old Isabella Addington and four-month-old Imani Robinson. They were shot late Tuesday at a home on East 12th Avenue. Police believe 21-year-old Jaden Robinson shot them before turning the gun on himself. This is Love Hurts. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for future content. Twenty-year-old Isabella Addington, affectionately known as Izzy or Bella, was young, beautiful, vibrant, and passionate. She was a people person, and she loved meeting and connecting with others. She was the type that never met a stranger. She viewed relationships as treasures, collecting friends and loved ones with warmth and enthusiasm everywhere she went. Her radiant personality left a mark on anybody that she met. She just had a way of making people feel like they were part of her family. Izzy was the youngest out of her siblings, and there was a pretty large age gap between her and the others. So she became an aunt at a pretty young age, and she absolutely loved and adored her nephews. Growing up and helping with them made her realize how much she looked forward to becoming a mother and having her own kids one day. That dream came true sooner than expected when she met 21-year-old Jaden Robinson in May of 2023. Jaden was a troubled soul, and not by way of his circumstances. He actually came from a loving and caring home. He had an extremely encouraging family, and they supported him to no end. As a young kid, he was amazing and almost never got in trouble. But once the teen years hit, Jaden changed. He developed an obsession with guns and drugs. The streets got a hold of him, and they would not turn him loose. In 2021, Jaden was charged with burglary. And just a year later, in June of 2022, he was found in a park, in possession of a Glock switch and a fully loaded magazine. He served a little time in lockup, but was eventually let out on bail, and that was right before he met Isabella. Things moved fast between Isabella and Jaden, and within months of their union, she was pregnant and expecting the couple's first child. Everyone was ecstatic. Jaden's family was extra supportive of the couple, even throwing them a lavish baby shower in March of 2024 before the birth of their daughter. Many thought this might be exactly what Jaden needed as motivation to get his life together. On April 29th of 2024, the couple welcomed their beautiful baby girl whom they named Imani. And life seemed perfect. But that didn't last long. Jaden was stressed out about his upcoming court date scheduled for September 19th of 2024. He still had a weapons charge looming over his head and he could not shake the feeling of dread. He was most definitely looking at serving some time, and he knew it. Just the thought of it caused him to be depressed, and his behavior became erratic. On September 10th of 2024, Jaden texted a close friend of his to vent about an argument he was having with Isabella. The friend said Jaden then FaceTimed him, and he was basically giving him the rundown on what was going on between the couple. Within minutes of beginning the call, his friend said he heard gunshots and the phone dropped. He immediately called 911 and reported that he thought Jaden may have shot Isabella and possibly himself. The friend was in complete shock and he just kept saying over and over again, Oh my God, oh my God, why would he call me to do this? Another man called the police and said he heard four shots fired upstairs in his residence. He said that Jaden was a friend's son and that he was allowing Jaden to stay in his home. The caller quickly snuck out of the house while whispering to the police dispatchers. He said he thought Jaden had shot Isabella and that their four-month-old child was in the apartment with them. When police arrived, they located 20-year-old Isabella, four-month-old Imani, and 22-year-old Jaden, all deceased from apparent gunshot wounds to the head. Police verified that Jaden shot Isabella and their four-month-old daughter Imani before taking himself out. Columbus police have been on the scene for hours now, gathering evidence, trying to piece together exactly what happened. 
Matt, Monica, good morning. We know right now that a mother and father, as well as her infant child, are dead after what police are calling a murder-suicide. Uh, a, a police presence out here this morning. We are still seeing some activity here on East 12th Avenue. They still have a portion of the street blocked off, but a, a much quieter presence than we saw earlier. This is uh, what it looked like earlier this morning when our crews uh, first arrived here on the scene. Uh, officers were called out to this home on East 12th Avenue around 11.30 last night on the report of a shooting. Officers made several announcements to the residents inside, but after nobody answered, the officers forced their way into the home and found a man, a woman, and an infant all dead from gunshot wounds. Now, police believe the man shot the woman and the infant before shooting himself. They also believe the man and woman are the mother and father of the child. And this is the second murder-suicide that we've seen in as many days, and it's the fifth murder-suicide in the city in just the past month. Columbus police say the growing number of domestic violence calls is concerning. I, I think fifth. we're up to the 18th domestic violence related homicide in the city of Columbus this year. And that, that's staggering. Those are staggering numbers to hear. Um, obviously, it strikes home a completely different way when you're talking an infant involved as well. Now, Sergeant Albert is pleading with the community not to settle disputes with guns. He's also urging anyone that may find themselves in a domestic violence situation to seek help. There are resources available. And the community and both families were absolutely devastated, especially Isabella's family. In a Facebook post, her mother wrote, I pray that I would wake this morning to the realization that the events of yesterday were simply a horrible nightmare. Unfortunately, it was not to be the case. Yesterday, we learned that our youngest daughter, Isabella, and her four-month-old baby, Imani, were murdered by her boyfriend, who then took his own life. Our hearts are forever shattered. When will this insanity stop? Will women ever be free of domestic terror and violence? I need answers and there are none. Why? My heart truly goes out to all those who were involved in this tragedy, especially the family of Isabella and Imani. If you are in a domestic violence situation, create an out plan and get out now. Once you are out, do not turn back. Turning back can cost you your life. As always, loves, don't forget to stay safe, subscribe, thumbs up, and hit that notification bell for future content.